PTSD can affect anyone, any age, race, gender, or background. This is a disorder that is more common than people may think, and joining us today to speak more about PTSD is Dr. Christine Caulfield, Chief Executive Officer of LSF Health Systems. Great to see you again. Yes, I was wondering when morning. you were coming back. We always love when you help us out with uh, such important topics. So PTSD, of course, stands for post-traumatic stress disorder. Yes. But what exactly is it and uh, what causes someone to be diagnosed? Well, it's a mental health condition uh, when people experience a traumatic event. Either mm -hmm. they witness it or experience that event themselves. Oh, okay. And some examples uh, would be sexual abuse or mm -hmm. assault, right. um, war combat mm -hmm. uh, could be mental abuse, uh, all types of traumas that uh, that really get encoded actually on a physical level. Mm -hmm. And really you need professional help to really kind of get out of that, right? You really do. So what are some of the symptoms then? Yes, yeah, so intrusive thoughts, um, people report a startle response, loud noises, mm -hmm. um, trouble sleeping, nightmares. Right. Uh, also relationship issues can be affected because there's changes in, um, in mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, right. and so it can cause some relationship issues. Right, um, so how does PTSD affect someone's mental wellness and their daily life other than like the not being able to sleep, but I'm sure it can, like you said, with um, like your spouse or whatever, I mean, cause issues there, but even with like friendships, right, and maybe even exactly. your job. Exactly, yes. A lot of times when people experience post-traumatic stress disorder, they avoid the situation okay. or anything that reminds them right. of the situation that caused their PTSD. So a lot of avoidance, isolation, mm -hmm. not wanting to get in social contact with people. Right. Uh, a lot of people that have PTSD want to, when they do enter a room, they want their back to uh, not the face the door. Right. Exactly. They want to be able to see their exits. Ah, that's, yeah, I mean, that totally makes sense. So how and uh, when should someone reach out for help? When you're starting to have relationship issues, when you're having these intrusive thoughts, mm -hmm. recurring nightmares, um, when you find that you just can't relate to other people and you want to isolate, right. um, that is time really to get some help. And what are some of the things that you do to help with that? Yes, so we do a lot of cognitive behavioral mm -hmm. therapy at LSF Health Systems. Um, there's a form of therapy called exposure therapy okay. that helps people um, titrate their experience and their reactions down to where it's not so affecting their mental health. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes medication is necessary right. to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. But we don't know what we need until we have that analysis, right? Exactly, and everybody's different. Everybody yeah. has individual issues that cause them to experience post-traumatic stress disorder, so that's why individual treatment plans are so necessary. Okay, so how does one get in touch then, either if they need it themselves or they're thinking, okay, my family member might want this resource? Yes, well at LSF Health Systems we have an access to care line okay. that's operated 24-7 by our clinical team and that number is 1-877-229-9098. Um, you can also visit us on our website at lsfhealthsystems.org mm -hmm. and we can get you connected with those community resources to get you help that you need. Yeah, that's wonderful. I mean therapy is amazing. It's, yes. uh, it's life-changing. It's life-saving in some instances, and this is such an important topic today as well. So thank you so much for joining us again. My pleasure. And uh, we'll be right back.